Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's, in today's video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going this coming week, and if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain, but over time, we become more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive in the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the weekly chart, and we can see that we actually be, went bullish on the weekly chart now. Last video, I said that we're not bullish on the weekly until we get about 15,500. We did that on Friday. So we're bullish on every single time frame now. And there's absolutely not a single reason to look for a short anywhere on the NASDAQ. Same with the S&P 500 as well. So the next target is going to be up at uh, 15,900 on the NASDAQ and then see if we get above uh, 16,300. Last video, I said I closed my longs uh, just before the Thursday pullback. I got out at 15,400 because we were at resistance to the left. I kind of figured that, hey, good spot to lock in profits because we could pull back significantly. That same day, we got a small 1% pullback and then Friday just ripped back above and broke above. In my opinion, this really looks like to me that they're kind of trapping longs right now because it was so strong. We had basically no pullback and this Thursday day made people think that we were going to have a pullback, but then Friday just exploded and put, probably took out anyone who shorted. So now this looks like you want to FOMO long into it. And when you do FOMO long into it, that's exactly when tops form typically. So I think we'll get a pullback. And now the question is, are we going to get down to that 15,000 area? And that's what I would like to see so I can get into some longs again. Or do we just come back to 15,400, consolidate around here, and then trend up into the end of the year? Only time will tell. But if I don't get in any longs, like I'm not going to get in here because it's not a good time to get in long in my opinion. So if I miss it and it just keeps going, then I'll just have to focus on my intraday trades. So that's basically NASDAQ on the daily and the weekly. On the four hour, it's very similar. No pullbacks, we're kind of just pushing up. Not a whole lot to say here. So let's go over to ES on the weekly and the daily. If you go to see ES on the weekly, uh, basically I drew this out from last video. I thought we'd get a bigger pullback. I thought we'd get down to 4,300. That's where I'd like to look for longs for continuation back up to 4,700 at some point by the end of the year. Uh, but now on the weekly, same thing with ES. We got above the 4,430 area. And because of that, we're now bullish on the weekly on ES as well. Let's take a look at the daily, broke up above. So we're, we're still bullish on the daily. Every time frame is bullish. So again, no reason to look for shorts at all. And if you go down to the four hour chart, you can see exact same thing as NASDAQ. No real pullbacks, we just keep we just keep pushing up and up. So there's no reason for me to look, look back on the four hour or the one hour. Um, if you wanted to get into short term swing longs on the four hour, then you would wait for a pullback to about 4370, 4380, long that and then target the highs again. But there's no good risk reward longs right now, in my opinion, until we get a bigger pullback. All we need to know right now, looking at ES on the daily and the weekly, and same as NASDAQ, is we can't we can't short. We should not be shorting at all. We should be waiting for pullbacks to get in long. Now, if you take a look at the VIX, it looks like we're coming down. We're going to target the 12s area. Big rejection. Again, when we have the VIX looking super weak like this, no reason to look for shorts in the market. Only argument here is that we are filling all the gaps to the downside and we're at a bunch of trading to the left. So we could experience a little more volatility, which means we could be more choppy and experience a little bit of a pullback. But there's no reason to expect a big crash at this point because volatility is extremely weak and when VIX is weak market continues to trend higher same with thing with the dollar so the dollar is still bearish on the daily we're just kind of having this retracement so in my opinion with the dollar if you just look from this swing high to low we're just retracing 50 percent rejection continue lower when the dollar continues lower then market continues higher and nasdaq is even stronger when the dollar goes down so my opinion, the dollar will keep going down and then the market will keep going up in the months leading up into the end of the year. You can see in the 10 year, this looks like we've topped out. Big pullback broke market structure to the downside. So the 10 year is bearish as well on the daily. And if that keeps going down, that means that the economy is softer and the market can go up until it's a lot weaker and then it flips. Same idea on the two year, except it, we had a big push in this week. Still lower highs and lower lows so far on the weekly and on the daily. Uh, but if we get a close back above like 5.1% on the two year, then maybe we could be pushing higher. All this points to a bullish market for the next weeks and months and no reason to look for shorts. So if you're thinking about shorts, I know you think you want to short it because it went up so much already, but I've taken plenty of losses by trying to short something just because it went up already a lot. 
we want to short something when we have confirmation in the daily or the weekly and we do not have that whatsoever so if we run a short we want to see a close below 15,200 on the nasdaq to confirm a bearish market structure shift if you want to short yes can't short until we get a close below 4350 on the daily so that we have confirmation of a bearish market structure uh, until then we want a long pullbacks give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it subscribe for more videos just like this i post two videos a week one every sunday and every thursday night with all my market analysis and the trades i'm in right now i'm flat and i'm just looking more at intraday trades swing trades i have to wait for a bigger pullback uh, on the daily or the weekly subscribe for more videos just like this thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video